Welcome back. In this box, I have the new Ashland Leather Gus card case. Let's check it out. The very familiar box that Ashland Leather sends out their wallets in, their logo stamped right there in red wax. But let's open this up, and right here, there's an Ashland Leather card. But inside of this fabric pouch is the brand new Ashland Leather Gus card case. Let me give you guys a nice close-up here. And while you guys are checking this out, let me open it up. Let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the Gus card case is made from full grain Horween Dublin. The wallet that I have here is English Tan, but it's also available in a black shell cordovan. It's a horizontal flap style wallet with two expandable card pockets. And those two card pockets can hold up to 12 cards plus folded cash. It comes with a lifetime guarantee and is handcrafted in Chicago, Illinois. All right, so what about the dimensions? It comes in at 4.5 inches by 3.25 inches when closed. And with nothing inside, it has a thickness of 0.25 inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 2.2 ounces. That's 64 grams. All right, so now let's determine if the Gus card case is right for you. So you guys might or might not know that I'm a big fan of Ashton Leather. Actually, their Ashton Leather Capone Leather Money Clip is my current everyday carry wallet. And Ashton Leather's ability to get a hold of some of the finest cuts of Horween Leather never ceases to amaze me. I mean, look at this Horween Dublin here. Look at that grain and the pattern on here. Wow. The leather here is absolutely beautiful. And before I do the smell test, I want to address the guy that told me that I can't do smell tests anymore on this channel because another YouTuber basically patented it. Just for you, I'm gonna do two smell tests. So the first smell test, oh boy. Good night. This leather smells absolutely fantastic. And stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna do another smell test. So obviously I think the leather is fantastic. Let's take a look at the stitching here. Yes, Ashton Leather does machine stitch their wallets here, as you can see, but the way I look at it, they give you a lifetime guarantee on all their wallets. So if the machine stitching does come undone, it's guaranteed for life. And yes, Ashton Leather does hand wax and hand burnish all of their edges here. And if I give you a nice close up, you can see that for yourself. So everything that I see here looks pretty good. So. Let's talk about the design here. So it's a horizontal flap style wallet with two card pockets. And as you can see, those two card pockets are on the inside. There is no quick access card pocket on the back. So at first I didn't really understand why they designed this wallet the way it is. It's basically a minimalist card wallet, as you can see right here in the front. And then it's attached right there. It's sewn together right there in the middle to another single pocket card wallet with the flap. So when I gave this a closer look, I didn't know why this piece of leather existed because they could have just taken this leather where the flap is right here and just sewn it together to this front part of the wallet and eliminated one piece of leather, made it thinner and still ended up with two card pockets. But Ashton Leather did this on purpose because this is designed to be expandable. And you can see that here if I pull apart the two pockets, it's sort of like an accordion. So then I completely understood why Ash and Leather designed the wallet like this. These two pockets are meant to hold up to 12 credit cards plus folded cash. But in a test I did earlier off screen, I got 12 credit cards just in this back pocket alone. And I'll demonstrate that to you in the card test a little bit later on in the video, but let's take a look at the only branding that I see in this wallet. And that is right there dead center on the front piece of leather um, when it's closed up as you can see you can't see that branding at all and now let's get to the card test here right here i have 10 flat cards i'm going to stick all 10 of these right in this back pocket just to show you how this back pocket just gobbles that right up and then two more flat cards right here that i would put in the very front pocket right there that would be my most used credit card and id and here's eight american dollar bills i'm just going to fold these in half because this wallet can handle it i'm going to stick those eight bills right behind those 10 credit cards in that back pocket. So as I mentioned earlier, you can easily get 12 credit cards in that back pocket if you want. So 12 credit cards in the back pocket. And if you're a cash carrier, like they use cash more than cards, just put your bills folded in half in that front pocket as so. But whatever you put in this front pocket here, it has a pretty large cutout. So it makes it really easy to grab your cards or your cash whenever it's stuffed in there. Now, because this wallet doesn't have a tuck closure, when it's brand new and it's fully loaded, as you can see, this flap 
is going to stick up just slightly as you can see. But with a little bit of use and time spent in your pocket, this front flap should definitely mold itself closed over time. But when it's brand new, it can be a little bit annoying, especially if you're gonna fully load the wallet. But you can see how that expandable design is helping out when there's 12 credit cards stuffed in that back pocket here. So I think this wallet is specifically designed for somebody that likes to carry a lot of cards, a lot of cash, a lot of business cards because it's designed to expand. So would I recommend this for everyday carry? That's a tough one. I think the quality is great. Everything that I've seen from Ashton Leather is always top notch. But for me personally, would I carry it on an everyday basis? I would have to say no. And the reason is, it's just not my style of wallet. First off, I'm not the biggest fan of horizontal style wallets. Second, I only carry six credit cards on a daily basis and cash for emergency purposes only. So I wouldn't really need a wallet that's designed to expand like this. For me, it's just overkill. Plus, I'm just not a fan of this flap right here, flapping around like this. Yes, I know eventually it's going to mold itself shut, but right now, it's just flapping around. So for me as an everyday carry, the Gus card case is a no-go. But for somebody who likes horizontal flap style leather wallets that needs to carry a bunch of cards and cash on an everyday basis, this might be right up your alley. And on top of that, you're getting some of the highest quality Horween leather in the world and there's a lifetime warranty on this. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Ashland Leather Gus card case? One second. Ah, now that's a smell test. Tell me I can't do a smell test on my channel. Now, if you want to check this out for yourself, I will leave links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!